Hi, this is Matt with RecordingHacks.com, making a video to introduce the new Shure KSM 353ED. The ED is the latest release of the 353 ribbon microphone, formerly known as the Crowley & Tripp El Diablo. The El Diablo was developed by Crowley & Tripp and acquired by Shure in 2009, and Shure retained the original packaging, which included a wooden box, uh, a wooden storage box for the microphone, as well as this old spring-loaded shock mount. And apparently, Shure had wanted to update those ever since the acquisition, and have finally done so. I have interviewed John Bourne from Shure. He is a product specialist at Shure, and he was involved with the design of the new shock mount and this new packaging. So you can read that for more details, but here's a first look. So the first thing you'll see is that they've updated the case to a standard Shure uh, padded flight case. And when you open it up, what you see is a uh, polishing cloth. And then there is the European thread adapter for European mic stands. Here's the new A300SM shock mount. Now, what's remarkable about this is the use of wire rope in the place where you'd normally see elastic bands. Now, this is a lot sturdier than you might expect it to be. There's not much flex in this at all. Uh, and that, that wire rope does a fantastic job of supporting uh, the apparatus here. And then in here... In a uh, Velcro sealed storage pouch is the microphone itself. The nice thing about the storage pouch is that it's lint free, so you won't risk getting a bunch of crud in your microphone. So there's the mic. Um, the bottom of the mic has been redesigned. Uh, the original Crowley and Trip El Diablo and the original Shure KSM 353 had a flush bottom end here, uh, and Shure had to redesign this in order to let it mount to the shock mount. So you can see how this slides right in here. So it's a very steady fit. Uh, it, it screws down nicely. Uh, there's no binding, no kinking. It sits in there very snugly. And it looks great, I have to say. So here's the amazing thing, at least I thought this was amazing. You can put this mic at just about any angle, and you just don't see any flex in that shock mount. So it does a very nice job of holding the mic steady, even inverted at an angle like this. Uh, adjusting the, the rotation of the mic is actually really easy. Loosen the bottom nut a little bit, spin it, and it tightens right back down. So that's it for the quick preview. Again, for more information, check out the uh, interview with John at recordinghacks.com.